Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. So welcome back and this is lecture number 52. Uh, today we will be talking about this first order differential equations and mainly uh, we will consider first order and the first degree differential equations and their solution techniques. So today we will focus on uh, these two standard forms. The one uh, we will consider dy over dx is equal to f x y. So the function of x y right hand side and the other form we will be discussing in this lecture that will be m uh, x y d x plus n x y d y is equal to 0. So, these are the two uh, types of uh, first order differential equations we will be covering uh, in this and the next uh, few lectures. So, the solution techniques. So, what are the solution uh, methods? The first one is the separation of variables. So, we will quickly review uh, some of the techniques which are very fundamental or basics uh, and they are required at, at every stage for solving the differential equations. So, the one of them is the separation of variable. So, here if a differential equation uh, can be written in this form. So, we have f 1 y and d y over d x is equal to f 2 x. So, the point here is that everything the function of y if we can collect to one side and uh, the other side the function of x. In that case we call that this equation is uh, variable separable because now we can easily integrate this because the left hand side uh, only the function of y and the right hand side uh, everything of uh, function x. So, if we can put in such a form then we can easily integrate uh, these equations and uh, then we say that the variable uh, variables are separable in the given differential equation and the solution for such differential equation once we uh, separate the variables uh, then it can be written as uh, we can simply integrate uh, this here or we can first write down this equation as this f 1 y uh, d y is equal to this f 2 x and d x and then we can simply integrate this equation uh, with this uh, constant of integration. So, this is equal here. So, f 1 uh, y d y uh, is equal to this f 2 x d x and plus uh, this uh, constant of integration. So, we will see one example of this uh, kind which is given here that d y over d x is equal to e power x minus 2 y plus x square and e power minus 2 y. So, if we take a close look here at the right hand side of this function, what we observe that uh, e power x because this we can write down this first here as e power x into e power minus 2 y and the, this term uh, we have already in the separable form. So, e power minus this 2 y and what we do now e power minus 2 y we can take as, as common and that can go to the other side of the equation and this uh, one side it will remain as e power x plus x square. So, this equation is uh, variable separable which we can easily do and then we can integrate it. So, here we can rewrite this. So, we multiplied basically e power uh, 2 y to this equation and uh, automatically the right hand side becomes now e power x plus x square. So, free from y. So, we have this side everything the function of y and the right hand side we have the function of x. So, now we can easily integrate this equation and integrating we will get because e power 2 y when we integrate we will get e power 2 y and divided by 2. The right hand side here we have e power x which will give e power x the exponential function will remain as it is and here x square will uh, become x cube by 3 when we integrate this x square and one constant of this integration which we call here a c 1. What we can do here we can multiply by 2 for instance just to uh, again uh, rewrite the solution. So, we have here e power 2 y is equal to this 2 will go to the right hand side. So, 2 e power x 
plus this 2 by 3 and this x cube and plus 2 times c 1 which we have denoted again by a constant here c. So, this is the solution which is given in this implicit form. So, this is the implicit uh, solution of the diff given differential equation by uh, separating this variable. So, uh, it, it was easy to integrate and find the solution. So, this is one of the very basic uh, techniques which we use for um, sol solving differential equations. The other one, uh, there are equations which can be reduced to uh, the separable of variables. So, as such in the given, the given equation may not be uh, separated uh, with respect to these variables, but it can be made uh, uh, by some, some substitution uh, to separable form and then we can again uh, uh, repeat the process which we have done for the separable equations. So, for instance, if we consider this d y over d x is equal to f a x plus b y plus c. So, if we have here the function of this a x plus b y plus c or uh, the form is just a x plus b y. So, as such this given equation uh, may not be in the separable form, but if we make a substitution here. So, in this case we say it is uh, we will substitute this a x plus b y plus c and we will give a new variable uh, to this uh, expression or we can uh, substitute a x plus b y when the equation is given in this form. So, in either case when we substitute let us say here a x plus b y is equal to uh, plus c is equal to this new variable v or in this case a x plus b y is equal to v what will happen. So, if we differentiate now this uh, to get this relation d y over d x. So, what will happen a times this x which will give just a when we differentiate here b d y over d x and this is a constant. So, 0 is equal to d v over d x and the same expression we will get when we differentiate this a x plus b y is equal to v. So, it does not matter now whether we are substituting this one when such a differential equation is given or we are substituting here v when this equation is given. So, in either case we will get this relation that this new variable v and the derivative with respect to x will be a plus b d y over d x form. Once we have this we can substitute now back to the equation. So, that we get uh, the new differential equation in v. So, v is now the dependent variable like y was earlier here. And now, if we substitute for d y over d x. So, from here d y over d x what we get uh, the d y over d x will be uh, d v over d x and this minus this a to the right hand side and then we need to divide also by this b. So, this d y over d x will be substituted here in the equation and then we will get uh, this term now here for d y over d x and then is equal to f and this uh, we have already substituted as v whether this equation or this equation uh, we will get from, from both of them exactly this equation which is uh, given here 1 over b d v over d x minus a is equal to f the function of v. So, having this equation now we can just rewrite this. So, d v over d x uh, will be equal to. So, we multiply by b first. So, that will be b uh, f v and then this a will also go to the right hand side. So, we have d v over d x is equal to b uh, times this function of v uh, plus this a. And now, this equation is in separable form because this right hand side is having only uh, v there is no x here anymore. So, we can take everything to the left hand side and then d x uh, this differential of x can go to the right hand side. So, we have uh, this uh, separable form which we can integrate as this uh, this integral uh, of this uh, 1 over b v uh, plus a and this with respect to v and then the right hand side will be the integral of x. So, we have this the solution after getting the solution in terms of v we can again substitute uh, 
uh, whether this v is equal to x plus b y plus c depending on the situation of the given differential equation. So, we can write down final solution again in terms of uh, uh, y. Now, we take this example of this kind. So, d y over d x is equal to this sec x plus y. So, this equation as such given in this form is not separable, because we cannot bring all uh, this x to one side and y to other side. So, we have to use the idea which is described just before. That means, this x plus y we will set as uh, y v uh, and having uh, so here we can now get this d y over d x. So, this is 1 plus d y over d x is equal to d v over d x and then this d y over d x will be d v over d x minus 1. So, we have this change now from y to v which we can substitute in the given equation. So, the given equation will be uh, considered now as d v over d x minus 1, d v over d x uh, this minus 1 is equal to the sec of this v. Now, this equation is in a separable form and we can integrate this easily. So, before we do so, let us just uh, simplify this term. So, this is a sec v means 1 over uh, cos v. So, we can write 1 plus cos v over uh, cos v and then we can also simplify little more so in terms of this v by 2. We can write down as the 2 times uh, cos v means 2 cos square v by 2 that is for 1 plus uh, cos v and here cos v will be 2 cos square v by 2 minus 1. We have done this because now the integration will be easier. So, all these terms will go to the left hand side and the d x this differential will go to the right hand side and then we will integrate it. So, what are we getting left hand side when we, uh, so this will be reverse the order then we have 2 cos square v minus 1 and divided by 2 cos square uh, v by 2 and that will be. So, let us just uh, check here. So, this when go to the left hand side then this will become 2 uh, cos square v by 2 minus 1 over this 2 you know, cos square v by 2 and that is exactly what we have there. So, 1 because 2 cos square v by 2 divided by 2 cos square v by 2 that will be 1 and minus this 1 by 2 and 1 over cos square v by 2 will be uh, sec square v by 2. So, this is now the integrand here 1 minus half sec square v by 2 and this we will integrate over this uh, v and the right hand side we have integral of uh, this dx. So, now this we can integrate. So, this v uh, 1 uh, when we integrate over v this will give us v and then here this sec square v by 2. So, this half is already here. So, the sec square this uh, uh, v which uh, will give us 10 uh, of this v by 2. So, we have the integral of the left side v minus uh, for the sec square we have 10 v by 2 and the right hand side is just the x plus uh, this uh, constant of integration. And uh, now, we need to substitute back this uh, v in terms of the x plus y. So, that will be now v is uh, from here x plus y. So, we can write down this x plus y here minus this 10 v is again x plus y by 2 is equal to x plus c. So, this x and the left hand side also we have this x plus y. So, when we substitute for v this was x plus y and the right hand side was also x. So, this x x gets cancelled and then we have this as the solution uh, that y minus this 10 uh, x plus y by 2 is equal to this constant c. So, here the given equation again was not in separable form, but by doing this substitution here uh, x plus y is equal to v this one. Uh, then uh, the new equation which is written now in v here d v over d x is equal to sec v plus 1 this is in separable form and therefore, we could integrate this easily and finally, we got this again. Uh, implicit solution. So, y minus 10 x plus y by 2 is equal to uh, arbitrary constant. 
So, uh, another type of equations we will consider now, these are called the homogeneous equations. So, these homogeneous equations, uh, a differential equation of first order and first degree is said to be homogeneous, if it is of the form or can be put uh, in the form here of this. So, d by over d x is equal to this function of y over x. So, if we can bring every or uh, the function here right hand side in the form of the y over x as a function of y over x, then we call this uh, differential equation uh, homogeneous differential equation. And now, we have the solution technique which we can use for solving uh, this uh, such a homogeneous equation. And the trick here is that we uh, take this y over x as a new variable. So, here we have taken this, this v and then uh, we can now get this d y over d x from this term. So, having this relation we have basically y is equal to x v and then d y over d x when we differentiate here. So, the product rule will be applicable and we have v here the derivative of x and plus this x and the derivative of v. So, this is what we will get out of this relation. So, d y over d x is equal to v plus x d v over d x. So, having this relation now, we can convert our equation which was given in this uh, form d y over d x is equal to function of y over x. So, this will become now d y over d x will be replaced by v plus x d v over d x. Here v uh, plus x d v over d x is equal to the function of v because y over x we have assumed uh, as v here. So, this is a new equation which is again in inseparable form because this v we can take to the right hand side. So, we have f v minus v. So, the right hand side contains everything uh, with v and the left hand side uh, with this x. So, here this is also a separable equation now in v and now we can write down the solution. So, d v and the right hand side when we take this v there this will be now f v minus y is equal to d x over x plus c. So, that is the a separable form which we can integrate and find out the solution. After that we can replace this v by uh, y by x to get the solution in terms of uh, y and x. So, we go through this example which uh, is of this homogeneous uh, differential equation. So, if we rewrite this equation this d y over d x form by dividing this differential here. So, d y over d x will be uh, uh, minus because this term will go to the right hand side. So, with minus sign and this x cube plus 3 x y square that is the numerator term here and divided by this uh, y uh, cube plus 3 x square y. So, here now we can realize that we can uh, put this into this y over x form because all this degree here is 3, here also it is adding to 3, 2 plus 1, here 3 and here 3. So, once we have this situation, uh, we can easily uh, rewrite in this form because we can divide by this x cube here and also x cube in the denominator. So, by doing this we have 1 plus 3 y over x uh, cube because we have divided with x cube. So, this x will get cancelled, we have this square here. So, this will be indeed a square term not the cube term. So, we have here the square y over x square and then here y over x this cube and 3 uh, when we divide x is x cube here. So, y over x. So, now everything here is in terms of this y over x as a function of y over x. So, this equation is in separable form and uh, we can uh, now substitute this y over x as v which we have explained just before and as a result here this d y over d x will be v plus x uh, d v over d x. So, we can substitute now in our equation here. So, v plus this x uh, d v over d x and then we have with this minus sign and then 1 plus 3 this y over x is uh, v. So, v is square and divided by this v cube and plus this 3 v. So, now this equation we can take this v to the right hand side and the equation is separable in terms of this v and x. So, while taking this to the 
right hand side uh, we will get uh, now this minus v4 and minus 6 v square uh, minus 1 and divided by v square plus 3 v when we t uh, subtract this v from this right hand side. So, now this equation is in separable form we can take this term to the left hand side and the right hand side will go this d x over x and then we can integrate um, easily. So, we have done so 1 over x d x and this uh, goes in another other way around here. So, v is q plus the 3 v over this v 4 plus 6 v square plus 1 and we have multiplied both the side with 4 because the differentiation of this when we get this uh, v 4 plus 6 v square. So, that will be coming 4 times the v 3 and then uh, 12 times v. So, again here 12. So, exactly this is the uh, differential of this is sitting there. So, we can easily integrate now and here we have 4 over x. So, the right hand side also uh, easy to integrate. So, now we can integrate. So, this will imply minus. So, again the logarithmic because this uh, derivative of this is exactly this mm, sitting in the numerator. So, we have uh, the logarithmic of this one v 4 plus 6 v square plus 1 and is equal to the 4 times and again the logarithmic of x and we have assumed x to be positive. So, plus this uh, constant of integration which we have taken in the logarithmic form. So, any uh, arbitrary constant here. So, logarithmic of c and now we can combine these two. So, uh, this uh, we can uh, write as this ln x 4 and then here we have this ln c. So, this is basically c x 4 and this also we can take to the right hand side. So, we have everything this uh, log uh, x 4 plus log c and plus this log v 4 plus uh, 6 v square plus 1. So, we can combine all these terms of all these logs and what we will get here. So, just uh, one step before here what we will get the, uh, the ln here x 4 plus this ln c and also we will get this ln uh, v 4 plus 6 v square plus 1 is equal to 0. So, here if we combine this uh, everything now, so this will be ln and the c x 4 and also this uh, v 4 plus 6 uh, v square plus 1 and the right hand side 0 and then taking the exponential both the sides we will get uh, v 4 plus this 6 v square plus 1 and is equal to the exponential 0 that is 1 here. So, we got exactly this one here c x 4 and uh, v 4 plus 6 v square plus 1 is equal to 1. So, now this one so we need to uh, substitute back this v which was y over x. So, here we have c x 4 and this v is uh, y over x. So, we have y 4 over x 4 here also we have 6 y square over x square plus 1 and is equal to 1. And now this x 4 also we can uh, bring to the inside this bracket. So, what we will get c times this y 4 plus this 6 x square y square plus this x 4 and is equal to 1 and that is the solution again given in implicit form. So, we have y and x given in implicit form as the solution of the given differential equation. Now, the, the last one for this lecture we have the equations which can be reduced to this homogeneous form. So, again the given equation may not be in the homogeneous form directly, but by doing some substitution we can reduce it to uh, the homogeneous form. And this is exactly the equation we are talking about the dy over dx is equal to a x plus b y plus c and divided by this a uh, prime here. So, it is just the new name of this uh, constant it is not the derivative naturally it is just the another constant a prime here b prime another constant plus the c prime the another name for the constants. So, when the equation is given in this form and also together with this condition that uh, uh, this a over this a prime is not equal to b over b prime because if this is 
the case here if they are equal this ratio is equal that b over b prime and is equal to then we can assume let us say the lambda and then we have the a is equal to the a prime lambda and also the b is equal to this b prime lambda. Then what will happen when we have this relation and when we substitute this one then this will become as a function of uh, so either we replace this a or we replace uh, a prime. So, what we will get here in this case when we replace a. So, this everything will become as a uh, function of this a prime x plus b prime y and then we can solve we do not have to exactly uh, do any further substitution by substituting this to the new variable we can uh, solve this equation. But here the condition is given that this a over a prime is not equal to this b over b prime. So, in that case otherwise this is just the um, by substituting we can um, reduce to the separable form and then we can solve as we have done before uh, for the equations reducible to the separable form. But here this condition is given that means uh, we have to do a little more here. So, what we do we take uh, uh, here the substitution that x is equal to x plus h and we take y is equal to y plus k uh, as the new variable here big x and this big y. So, now our independent variables we are changing here the x is x plus h and this y the dependent variable also as y plus k. Now, by uh, having this uh, substitutions now these h and k are the constants and we have to choose these constants such that this equation become homogeneous because at present this equation is not homogeneous because of these constant terms here. So, these uh, equation we will choose now this h and k so that this equation becomes homogeneous. Now, if we substitute this first here let us see what will happen. So, we have this relation y is equal to y plus k from there we can get this d y over d x. Uh, we can easily get this d y over uh, d x is equal to the big y over big y is a function of, of, uh, of uh, x and then here uh, big x and then big x over the function of x. So, we can uh, do this and d x over x from this will be 1. So, this uh, relation d y over d x is equal to d y over this big x uh, remain as we have written here. So, now by this here d y over d x is equal to d y over d b x and we can now substitute in this equation. So, this d y over d x will be replaced by this d big y over d big x and then again this x and y we have to substitute here also x and y. So, the new expression here will be again in terms of x and y, but then we have also this here a h plus b k plus c and here a prime h plus b uh, prime k plus the c, c prime. And now the idea is that we will set this here, we will set because uh, h and k we need to choose. So, we will choose this so that this becomes 0 and this also becomes 0. So, once our h and k we have chosen so that these two expressions vanishes here our equation will become as the homogeneous equation and that is the that is the aim here. So, by setting these two terms equal to 0 uh, what will happen now a h plus b k plus c is equal to 0 and also this a prime h plus b prime k plus c prime is equal to 0 which is always possible to so to find such h and k because uh, these equations are always solvable if we look at the at the determinant of this a and this uh, coefficient matrix here a b and a prime b prime for this h and k are unknowns so this is the the determinant which is non zero that condition is given already in the equation that means that we can always uh, solve this equation these are solvable equation and uh, we will get the unique solution indeed. So, here we will get now the values of h and k such that these terms will vanish and then we have uh, uh, th these relations already which we have substituted. So, our equation will convert now d y over d x into a x plus b y a prime x plus b y 
b prime y and this equation is, is a homogeneous equation which uh, we can write in this y over x form a homogeneous in x and y which we can solve using the technique which we have discussed earlier. So, let us do this one example the last one for today's lecture. So, here we uh, assume this x is equal to x plus h and y is equal to y plus k and substitute in the equation as discussed before. Uh, so, then we have this h plus 2 k minus 3 and 2 h plus k uh, minus 3. So, here this k is, is, is indeed a small k as given here. So, now we will uh, set this to 0 and also this to 0 and solve for h and k. So, by doing so we have this h plus 2 k minus 3 is equal to 0 and this 2 h plus k minus 3 is equal to 0 from here we will get h is equal to 1 and k is equal to 1. So, this satisfy this equation also h is equal to 1 k is equal to 1 satisfies the other equation. That means, our our substitution is this big x is equal to x minus 1 and big y is equal to y minus 1 and now we can substitute in this equation naturally this term is 0, this term is 0 and we have the homogeneous equation which we know how to solve this equation. So, we need to again substitute this y is equal to v x as explained before for the homogeneous equation and then that will give us this d y over d x in terms of this big y and big x v plus x d v over d x. And now, uh, we have already this that d y over d x is, is this, this was the equation the homogeneous equation we have substituted this which leads to this d y over d x is equal to v plus x d v over d x. So, we substitute now back to uh, the equation here uh, and we will get uh, this equation which is a separable equation and now we can bring this uh, big x to the right hand side and these v to the uh, left hand side. That means, we have d x over x and this 2 plus v over 1 minus v square. Yeah? So, this term here uh, 2 plus v over 1 minus v square which will come with uh, this d v. This with the partial fractions because this 1 uh, minus v square we can write down 1 minus v and uh, 1 plus v and then we can do this partial fractions easily. So, that is the result here of the partial fractions and then uh, we will integrate with respect to uh, v. So, here by integrating this we get ln x and this constant here ln c and is equal to this half again here ln 1 plus v minus 3 times uh, this half is, is, is outside. So, this is just minus uh, 3 here because of this minus sign and ln 1 minus v assuming that these are uh, the constants otherwise we have to take the uh, or these are the positive numbers otherwise we have to take the uh, modulus as well. So, then we have here 2 times this 2 will go to there and this ln c x is equal to this ln 1 plus v over this 1 minus v cube and uh, from here we will get this x square c square is equal to 1 plus v over 1 minus v whole cube and then we need to substitute this uh, v as y minus 1 over x minus 1 because this h and k were this was k and this was uh, h which was 1 there. So, v in terms of this y and x that was given here uh, as big y over big x and then big y is y minus 1 and big x is x minus 1. So, finally, this v we have to substitute here to get the relation of x and y. So, by substituting this we get uh, this relation c square x minus y uh, cube is equal to x plus y minus 2 and that is the solution. Uh, written in uh, implicit form of the given differential equation. Well, so we come to the conclusion now. So, this is what we have learned today the separable of variables. So, it was a kind of review because many of you are already aware with all these techniques and we have also discussed about the equation reducible to the separable of uh, variable form again. We have also discussed the homogeneous equation and the equation reducible to the homogeneous form. These are the references used and thank you for your attention.